Welcome to BTM Gaming and our Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough and travelogue. This is the 11th part of our walkthrough, which we are releasing on this channel instead of the Bladed Tech Musings main channel. In the last segment, Arthur went on a debt collection spree for the gang's moneylender, Strauss. It is becoming increasingly clear that Arthur acts as Vanderlyn's enforcer. Morgan beats people up who need a beating. He provides gunslinger cover in group robberies. He gives sniper cover in risky endeavors, and he bails out gang members after they do stupid things. Other Vanderlyn henchmen have their roles too. Hosea, for example, is one of the Rainmakers, a senior gang member who lines up new grifts and cons. We're about to join up with Hosea to trigger a new revenue opportunity in the game. Many thanks for choosing to watch our content. Let's continue. Back in the main course, the main character. Let's check the map. What do we got here? Thomas Downs. I don't remember what that was all about. Mary Linton, yeah. Let's see what that's all about. Horses over here. Morning, Arthur. How are we doing here? Everything's all right. Uh, let's see. Let me brush the horse. Let's get you looking good. How's the horse doing anyway? Is all right. Let's hop on and get out of here. Yep. Best way to start a mission, first thing in the morning. Got an ambush once so far by O'Driscoll's, right just in that spot I just passed, but haven't had any real problems since then. Yeah, it's going to go over the ridge. Okay. Supposed to get squirrel and beaver. I'm gonna have to shoot some smaller game. There's a deer over there. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, no, you don't like the snake. There we go. There we go. Sometimes you can't shoulder the weapon, sometimes you can. I'm not headed into Valentine's, I won't take the carcass. Only the butchers take the carcasses. And of course the camp, too. I do need to cook some meat. Because I'm full up. And I've had a few fights, and I've depleted my stock. Whoop. I have to go this way. Oh, of course it's going to rain. I have shot at the livestock, or excuse me, at the horses. The horses you lose karma if you shoot. Yeah. I've had to shoot a couple of them already, just to get the cargo off of them, but because they would otherwise kick you. But uh, generally, try to avoid shooting the horses, just for that reason. Okay then. I'm not gonna shoot one of these. Get them. Let's go get it. Easy now. Oops, I stepped on it. Gotcha. Prairie chicken. Whatever that is. I'll pick it up. Stow these without any too much trouble. What happened? Did I increase? Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Sorry. I need to shoot a couple of rabbits myself. See what Jose has to say. I'm doing just fine out here. How about you? An interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. They all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Oh, here we go. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown, what you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. 
It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmen de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your Gary business. Angles, this is great. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more. They'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. So my horse transposed over here. Okay. That works. Oops. Sorry. Well, let's really? go. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? Okay. You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call well, some truth to that. Clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. Arthur, a safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. I know, I just realized I lost my hat again. Damn it! I don't know why that keeps on happening. I have to get another damn hat. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. Oh, he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Yeah, no kidding. You heard me, didn't you? We should go on foot. All right. Don't get your bowels in an uproar. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. You can't kill anybody, so I'm not sure what we're going to do here. There's the house. I see the barn oh, yeah. in the back. Stagecoach has to be oh, in there. let me crouch. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it today. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. Like I'm being all subtle right here.
My good young man. Very well, very well. <laughs> is your father home, sir? Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. You know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? Free. Spinal alignment. What? Spinal alignment. The Lord God Almighty. Oh, who ever built it? Put our brains in here, but our souls is in our backs. You say your your back is kind of tricky. Uh, sir. I might call again. How much will it cost me? I'm offering you virility and you're asking me about money, sir. I ain't made of money, mister. My rates are reasonable. Have a think about it. I'll be around this way next. Ah, gentlemen. You done, Arthur? Yep. Covered my tracks so well, they won't even know I was in there. Good work. Let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here.
few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> That's for sure. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. As usual. Exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get yeah. back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money yeah. chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Whoa, easy. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Going as fast as I can go. I spam the X. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp. How much is that worth? You coming? Uh, sure. sure. Oh, so they're nicely hitched up. What the hell happened to my hat? He's slowing down. Oh, 300. Oh, so I got 150 out of that. Oh, I got 75. Uh, that's some serious money. Why is it only bronze? I did well with that one. Mr. Morgan. Let's check out the ledger, see if I should buy anything here. Ledger. Good brother, how are you feeling? Much better. But those mountains were gonna kill me. Seems I'll live a while yet. Oh I know. Something like kick? Okay. I haven't used any of these tonics yet. Potent health cares of katana. What else we got here? Provisions. Oh, there's food in the pantry? Oh, I had no idea. Oh, but you pay to resupply. Yeah, it just makes no sense. What else we got here? I agree. We'll get some big money and get lost. Improve our offense. Okay. I don't know what that does. Quality of ammunition available on this 10 has increased. You can pay to resupply munitions and stocks are low. So the same thing. Okay. What do we got here? Lodging. Yeah, I'm sure. Horse station, chicken coop. We gotta get the leather working tools. Okay. 
Oh, you know what? We could. We need to make a contribution. So the camp pays, and then you have to contribute. It's interesting. Let's go to contribute hundred. Shave. Trim facial hair. Nice. That should do it.